In this video, you're going to learn eight free design resources to help you with your next design project, whether you're a digital marketer, a content creator, or a web designer. All the links, tools, and timestamps I'll link up in the description box below, so feel free to check that out. Let's get started with the first tool. Starting with the first tool, here's a website where you can download free gradient backgrounds. It's called UI Gradients. On this website, you can download these beautiful gradient backgrounds for your interface, for your website background, or whatnot. Feel free to browse through the collection or you can go back and then go through each of the gradient backgrounds until you see the one that you actually like. Let's say you like this cool sky gradient background. Look at the top, you'll see the hex codes which you can then enter into your design tools such as Photoshop or Canva. Otherwise you can download the background as a JPEG file by simply clicking the download button at the top. And now here is the JPEG file which you can freely use. Next up, this website is going to help you create professional mockups such as smartphone mockups, mug mockups, desktop mockups, t-shirt mockups and more. Let's say you want to create a smartphone mockup to display a promotion or a website. Simply go to smartphones. From here you can filter by free mockups. Feel free to browse through the mockups to see which one you like. Let's say I want to use this one right here. I'll click that. What you're going to want to do next is head over to Canva. At the top, create a design. Click on custom size. Go back to the specific mockup you want to create and you'll see the dimensions. So 828 by 1792. So take note of that and go back to Canva and enter those dimensions in. Click on create a new design. Here's a canvas. All you need to do now is paste in that image of yours, whether it's a website or a promotion, or you can use one of Canva's templates from the left right here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Now, what you do next is click on share, then click on more. At the search bar, simply search for smart mockups. Here it is. Canva will prompt you to gain permission to access your smart mockups account, so simply allow it. From here, click on save. Now that it's saved, go back to smart mockups, click on upload from, and we'll go ahead and click on Canva. The design that you just created is now sitting in your Smart Mockups account like so. Click that once and now click on Crop and Continue. Within an instant, that image has now been placed on that smartphone mockup. All you need to do now is to click on Download so you can use it on your website, social media, or wherever else you want. All right, how are you liking these design resources so far? Let me know by giving this video a quick thumbs up. Now let's continue with the video. Here's a free website where you can generate color palettes for your brand or website. It's called Colors. All you need to do is click on Start the Generator and right away you can see the color combinations that you can use or press the space bar to scroll and browse through the different color palettes. If you don't want to spend time doing that, simply click on Tools then click on Explore Palettes. Now you've got a list of trending color palettes that you can use as well as being able to see the actual demand and popularity of those color palettes. All right, this website is going to help you see what your wordmark will look like based on the fonts that are currently installed on your computer. It's called wordmark. Simply enter your word or phrase such as your business name, your company name, and then click on go. And now you can see how your text looks like with the fonts on your computer. So if we scroll down, this is what Arial Black looks like. Let's scroll down to see a different variation. Avenir Next Bold Italic. So if there's something that you like, you can see what font to actually use. So rather than trying to figure out which font to use in Photoshop and then changing between different fonts, which can be a huge time waster, simply use Wordmark, enter that phrase in and you can see what it looks like instantly. Here's another great website where you can see what fonts are in use based on different companies and brands. It's called Fonts in Use. So if you ever wondered what that font is, such as the Sega logo, this is the font that they actually use. We've got the infamous I Love New York logo, and this is the font style that they used. You can browse this website to find the right font to use by clicking on Topics, going through there, or you can go to Formats or Typefaces. Well, feel free to go to Collection and finding one from there based on some of these examples. But by using fonts in use, you get more inspiration and better ideas in terms of which fonts to use. One of my favorite websites to download icons is at flaticon.com. I really love the designs and I make use of this website because I like to find icons for my YouTube thumbnails and social media collateral. So for instance, let's say you wanna find a laptop icon, simply search for laptop and you'll find a huge library of icons that you can use. 
Now they are all free to use for non-commercial and commercial use, but you just need to credit the website. However, I did upgrade so that I don't need to attribute. But if you're looking for icons, this is probably the best website to go to. This next website is called Undraw. Undraw features free illustrations that you can download based on the different subjects and the different types of industries. You can see scientists, we've got online tests, coffee with friends, learning online stats. If you go to the very top, you can change the color as well. So let's say we want orange and it'll change it to all the illustrations. Let's say you like this nature fun illustration. Click that once and now you can download an SVG for your projects or download a PNG for your blog or socials. There's a ton to choose from. If you keep scrolling, there are endless amounts of illustrations to choose from. And did I mention that all this is free? You can also use these illustrations for non-commercial and commercial use as stated here. Next up, have you ever wanted to take full page screenshots? Well, there's an extension that you can install. It's called Go Full Page. Simply install the extension, head to the website that you wanna take a full page screenshot of. Now click on the Go Full Page icon right here and let it do its job of capturing that full page. And in just a few seconds, it's taken a full page of my website as you can see. Now I can download it as a PDF or an image. This is going to save you a heap of time. So rather than taking individual screenshots of what you see on your screen and then trying to join them together, simply use Go Full Page. All right, and those are the eight free design resources to help you with your next design project. Let me know which of these is your favorite. And if you have any suggestions in terms of other design tools, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up. And in the meantime, I'll leave up a couple of videos for you to watch next.